Okay, following on from the last video where I showed you how to convert an external hard drive uh, from the file system NTFS to FAT32, the next step, I suppose, really, is to show you how to convert a, a memory stick from NTFS to FAT32. Now, most memory sticks actually come pre-formatted to FAT32, um, so it's probably not going to be a major issue for you. But if you do have one that comes pre-formatted to NTFS, this is how you'll convert it back to FAT32, okay? So I already have it plugged into my computer here, and the computer I'm using at the moment is running Windows XP, so this is just specifically how to do it in Windows XP, okay? So you can see here uh, it's called new, and it's the F drive, and you can see over here on the left it's pre-formatted to NTFS. Now if you want to actually convert that to FAT32, all you have to do is right click on this go down as far as format and in this window i'll just drag it over here in this window that pops up you will see uh, certain information it'll show you the capacity now it's actually an eight gigabyte drive but it shows up at 7.46 gigabytes which is just the way a windows registers uh, storage space and things like that okay so the file system is currently ntfs so we're going to change that to fat32 you can leave the default allocation size as it is and you can change the volume label if you want uh, i'll just call it test okay and what you want to do is uh, a quick format so we'll just click the start button it'll ask us um you know are you sure you want to do this because it'll wipe all the existing data on the drive so if you had any um you know movies uh, music files or pictures anything like that you want to back them up before you do this because it will erase them okay so i don't mind erasing this so i'm just going to click okay and off we go okay this will take a couple of minutes so in that time i'm going to show you how you get these options here inside file system in windows xp okay by default you will not have the ntfs option so you will probably be able to convert from ntfs back to fat32 but you will not be able to go the other way by default okay so how you do that is basically what you want to do is go to your start button and pull up the menu here and when you see my computer just go manage and under that menu then you'll see device manager uh, then the next thing you do is go to disk drives and expand that and you'll see the disk drives that are installed on your computer now this one here is my actual hard drive so i don't want, i definitely don't want to go near that but this one here the kingston data traveler is my memory stick okay now yours may show up under a different name you know it could could be anything but it should be basically fairly obvious uh, what it is so when you're there just right click on it and go properties okay this pulls up an another window with a certain amount of information for you but the only thing we're really interested in is the policies okay so as you can see i have optimized for performance ticked already okay by default in windows optimize for quick removal will be ticked now that will not let you go from fat 32 to ntfs okay only the other, the other way around or you can you know you can wipe the drive uh pre-existing fat 32 you can you know wipe it with fat 32 again and um, so if you tick optimize performance and click ok that will add ntfs to that list um in the window over here okay so i've already that tick so i'm just going to click cancel you'll click ok and then you'll you'll go out the other window up here but i'm just going to click cancel and i'm going to kill that so that should be coming to the end of um being formatted here now actually just that was great timing so i'm just going to click uh okay and i'm going to close this so as you can see now the new drive is called test uh that was the new name i gave it it's still the f drive and it has been formatted to fat32 okay so i just want to give you a brief overview of why you might want to do this i mean there's plenty of applications for it uh, just we'll say in general with computers and laptops and things like that but more specifically uh, for our purposes um nearly all of the satellite receivers we sell that you can use external devices with um will work with either fat 32 or ntfs but there are a couple and one off the top of my head would be the zora 3000 that only works with fat 32 okay so if you need to either format your external hard drive which i showed you in the previous video or you need to uh, format your external um usb memory stick um you'll need to follow the procedures outlined it's fairly simple uh it doesn't take that long but once you have it done then it's fine it's just to be aware um when you do format these things you will lose all the data that's currently on it so just make sure um you know there's nothing on the drive before you actually format it um as i said most 
most memory sticks will come out of the box they'll probably be pre formatted to fat32 there are some that come with ntfs so if you have this problem uh well it's not really a problem let's say but if you do find yourself with an N a pre uh, ntfs formatted memory stick this is how you'll get around it anyway to work with certain um a certain number of our media players and that will enable you then to um use the pvr features like you know pause light tv record tv rewind tv you know things like that and also um some of our uh, satellite receivers also have built-in media players and this will allow you to uh, view films from your memory stick or photos or music or things like that the only thing to be aware of really with a FAT32 file system is there is a file uh, a file size limit it's around four gigabytes now most of the most of the satellite receivers we have they will uh, they're, they'll only play films and things like that in standard definition so a standard definition film in general will be around 700 megabytes so it comes nowhere near the file system limit so it's not a problem at all we have a new receiver all right that does play um, high definition uh, downloaded videos or whatever um, and the file size can be an issue with that uh, if you ha were using FAT32 but that um, satellite receiver itself uh, will work with NTFS so it's not an issue so that's it basically from beginning to end how to format your memory stick uh, from NTFS to FAT32